This video is brought to you by SeedProd. In this video, you'll learn exactly how to set up online food ordering for your restaurant website. This is great if you need to set something up quickly so you can offer curbside pickup or even delivery. Doing this is one of the fastest ways to get started. So with that, let's dive in. To get this going quickly, you want to make sure that you already have a website. If you don't already have a website, then you can watch this video where I walk you through step by step on how to find a website, find hosting, get everything all set up for you. Once you have that, the next step is to get the online ordering system going. There are a ton of different ways that you can do this, but our goal is to get you up and running quickly. So to do that, you'll want to go to WP Forms. This is a drag and drop form builder that you can use for your website. And the great thing about WP Forms is you can use it for multiple things. You don't have to just use it for your online ordering system. You can also use WP Forms for your contact us. If you have any type of quotes. If you're doing catering, you can use that as well. You can also automate a lot of your restaurant business information on the back end. So once you go to WP Forms and get the plugin to download to your computer, so then we'll head back over to our dashboard. And from here, we want to go to plugins, add new so that we can install the plugin that we just purchased. Now from here, we want to click on the upload plugin and we need to choose file so we can find where we just put it. Once you choose the file, go ahead and click install now. And then you'll also want to stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Now that's activated, you can either come down here and create your first form. But what we want to do is come over to the left. We want to go to settings so we can install our license key. You can get your license key once you sign in to WP Forms account. You can go to your account area, go to downloads and you'll see the license key where you can copy it. Then we can come back, paste the license key in here and go ahead and verify it. So go out and verify your key. And that just means you'll get updates and you also get priority support if you needed anything. Okay. The next thing we want to do is let's head over to add-ons. We want to install some add-ons that will help with this whole process. The first add-on we're looking for is we're looking for the forms template pack and out of the box, WP Forms comes with a few templates that will help you get started, like a contact us form, a quote order form, and things like that. But the Forms template pack has just a hundreds of more templates that you can choose from. So it'll install and activate that for you. While we're in the add-ons, let's go ahead and also add our payment forms because we want to take payments for this. You can choose to either use PayPal or Stripe, depending on what you use. So I'm going to install PayPal. And I'm going to go ahead and install Stripe. And like I said, you can choose either or. Or if you want to give them the opportunity to let them choose which one they do, then you can do both of them as well. For this one, I'm going to use the PayPal standard. Just easy to set up. So with that, now we are ready to create our first form. So we want to come over here on the left and create Add New. And we want to go ahead and give it a name. And scrolling down, these are the templates that come with WP forms out of the box. Like I said, you have these to choose from that you can select. And then we added all of these other templates and there are hundreds of them. There are several of them. And the one that we're looking for, you can, because there are so many, you can actually search in the template area. And the template that we're looking for is takeout. So we want to do a takeout order form. That's the one we want. So we'll click create takeout order form. Now this is coming from the title that we gave it. And now you can go in and adjust these items. Now you see that this is specifically for a pizza joint. Then you can go in and actually make changes here. If you're not pizza, then you can change this to whatever it is that you're having them choose from. So we can change the label and this is just to prompt them on what they want. And you can choose to change these here. And you can either add or remove items here by hitting the plus or minus. So we're going to remove that one. And now we just have two that we're going to let them choose from and say, give them the option to order however many choose from three. You can even even have this as a drop down. We're going to leave it at that just to show you. Great. Then you can also choose what items you need to collect from them. What kind of information you need. You need their email. Do you need their email, phone number, their address? If you're delivering, you'll want that. You can even add more fields down here. So for instance, maybe we want to find out when do they want it delivered? So we could go in here under fancy fields and do a date and time to ask them 
when would they like this item delivered if we're doing delivery or when are they wanting to pick it up we could do that as well and then they can fill that out you can also choose to just do date and time or just date so you can choose all of those options there now looking through this you want to see are there any items that you want to make required for instance right now we're making email required we probably don't need that required but if we're doing delivery we probably do want to require their phone number we probably also want to require their address so we can come over here when you click on it it brings up the fields information on the left so i'm going to click on address you see the label the schema for us and we want to make that required okay so that's a very simple form you can go as robust as you want but like I said, we're trying to keep this nice and simple so you can get online and get running quickly. So let's go ahead and save this. And now there's a few other things we want to do. We want to make sure that we've set up notifications, confirmation, and the payment system. So let's go over settings under settings and we'll go to notifications. These are the notifications or the email that come to you. By default, it'll come to the email address of the person who is the admin of this website. You can either leave that or you can remove that and actually put in, you know, whatever your website is, uh, you can put that in. You can also add multiple notifications. So you can do a comma and do orders. If there's somebody in the back taking all the orders, then put their email there. So it'll go out to both of them. Under the email subject line, you can change this to whatever you want. You can even do a smart tag of maybe their name, can, so the smart tag brings in the field information. So you could do that here. And that's if you want it to be different because by default, this will all come So all of your items will come in and the subject line will be new entry food order. So you might want to change that a little bit and bring in the field from the smart tags. Choose whichever one of these that will work best for you. That kind of separates it all out. So you know who you're working on and which one. From here, you want to put in your name of your restaurant that would be helpful and the from that's you can leave that as just that since it's coming internally or you can set it up for whoever is taking the orders right and then down under message right now it's bringing in all the fields so it'd be good to have all fields so you know what that order is about now the cool thing about this is you can now set up i'm going to save this so that's the default notification but you can also set up a new notification and you probably want to do this so that it sends the person who just ordered the pizza, it'll send them a notification as well. So I want to set up customer notification and then go through the same process and decide under the send to email address. This is where you want to send it to the person who's ordering it. So we can do show smart tags and the email is the available field. So this is the email address that they put in. The subject line, you could probably put in your order and maybe the carryout deal that they had. The from name, be helpful to put from the Pizza Palace or Pizza, wherever it's at. Same with the email, you want it to come from your business so that they know that you got their order. And then down here, you want to let them know something like that, uh, that lets them know you're working on it and thanks for ordering. So now we have notifications set up. That's great. Now we can move on to the next item. And the emails are great, but they also, when have you ever noticed when you go to order something, you want to get some kind of confirmation as soon as you submit the order. That's what confirmation is. So as soon as they submit their order, this item will come up on the screen and that's what they'll know that you know you'll you're working on the order so you can adjust this to say whatever thanks for ordering with us we'll have your delivery ready soon or something like that and you could also if you wanted to although i think a message is perfect but you could also redirect them to a different page maybe if you're showcasing your specials of the day or your specials next week maybe redirect them to that or a thank you page specifically but i think under these circumstances just having a message would be great and then you want to make sure that this is checked because if they're down further on the page, it will scroll them back up so that they can see the confirmation message. They won't miss that. So now we're happy with confirmation. Now we want to set up our payments. So we'll go down to payments area. And like I said, you could set up both. I'm just going to show you how you can do Stripe. So you want to enable PayPal standard 
payments, add the PayPal email address associated with your PayPal account. And you want to put this in production because you do want to get the money. But if you're testing it out, you can use test sand sandbox area and the payment type. And that's just so that they know what to charge. You can do a cancel URL. You don't have to. Under this, you can say don't ask for an address simply because re we are requiring it under the form itself. So all of that looks good. So let's click save. Now that we've set up PayPal standard, we need to go back to our fields and make some changes. These were just to show, but they actually aren't using form. They actually aren't using payment methods. So let's go back to all fields and we're going to scroll down to the payment fields. We're just going to kind of recreate this. So we're going to do multiple items and we're going to say the same thing. Do kind of a copy and paste here before I remove this. So I'm going to copy it, come up here. I'm going to paste that up here. And then we want to do the fields here. And I like showing this because it tells them how much it's going to be. So under the label, we say one, that's going to be 10. You want to make sure that, that puts in the amount that you're showing them. So if this is 10, you want to make sure that this is 10 as well. And just keep doing that throughout. So for two, that'd be for the second item. Great. Now I can remove this because it's not actually taking payment. So now this will be payment. And then one other thing I want to do is I want to add total. So we want to add the total under here and it will keep track of all of these items that we showcase. And then you could add even more items. So this is just for one item that you're selling just to keep it all simple, but you could add multiples. You could add e a single item and then this will just keep a running total of everything that they're ordering. Okay. Now that online food order form is all set up, we can click save. And now we need to add it to our website. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and let's go to pages. We're going to add a new page and we're going to call it food order form. And under here, under the block, you can either click plus to add the block, or if you want, you can do a forward slash and start typing in WP forms. So that pulls in WP forms. And now we need to select the form that we've been working on. So it's a food order form that we've been working on. And that comes in really well. So you could go in through here, add a little bit more information if you want, whatever your hours maybe, or anything like that, that's important for them to know on your order form. But everything here looks pretty good. So now we can click publish and now it's ready for them to go in and order what they need to from you. And if you have just started setting up your website and you've gone through and watched that video here, one of the best things that you can do while you're working through your website is by installing a plugin called SeedProd. SeedProd lets you have a coming soon page. So you let people know that you're working on it on the back end. And then they see something nice and simple like this, where you even might have a countdown timer. They can add their email address. They can share it with different social media profiles if you want, and that you can even add a contact us. So it's a super easy way to let people know you're working on something while you're working on it on the back end. Go ahead and go to seedprod.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on SeedProd. And thanks for watching.